All right, guys, welcome back. Um, trying to get into another video. It's Christmas Day. Did a bunch of presents this morning. Kind of had a good time um, setting up some stuff for my kids, my family, and stuff like that. But it's uh, it's now time to spend a little time making another video. One of the things that you're going to notice already is that I'm a little disappointed about. Maybe I should have played with it yesterday, but whatever. It'll come back around. Darkmare Bear, it's gone. So, I didn't get the experience none of that right now, but hopefully by the next time it comes back around, I'll be level 25, and we can uh, come back and actually fully play inside of Darkmare Bear. Some of the things that I want to try to get done today, is a couple quests in Stormwind, I'll probably head up there, uh, we'll knock out those quests, and then obviously come over here, and... Um, I know there's two quests over here that you usually have to do. One being kill, killing Hogger, the other one getting, I think it, they're like armband, old armbands. Uh, we'll do those quests and then I think we're all done. Yeah, I think we're all done with the uh, Elwyn Forest area. So we'll make our way over to West Fall. We'll knock out some quests over there. I imagine by the time I get done with Westfall because I know you do a little bit in Westfall and then you do like partial inside Red Ridge area here and then I think you do go down to Duskwoods for a minute but you're not really questing a whole lot in Duskwoods but by the time we get in Duskwoods we should pretty much be almost level 25 like starting some of the quests and then we should be pretty much level 25 um so that's kind of the goals that's the end goal today so is to work on these few items right here and then yeah we'll go from there so for now i'm gonna make my way into stormwind and we'll get started all right making it here into stormwind uh i noticed that i don't think i picked up the flight path over here and i think you definitely have to do that in classic wow i don't think it's something that's like kind of given automatically to you when you make a new character so we're gonna go over here at least try to get the flight path real quick and then i'm just gonna turn in the quest over here just turn it in i'm not gonna pick up another one uh and then we'll i don't think you got to do very much for desperate prayer i think you just get it and i went ahead and already set up something on tell me when but i don't know if it's working um for my desperate prayer but yeah we'll get this quest too because that's going to be in Westfall as well. Um, yeah. Do I already have the flight path? I do. I think I do. Where is it you would yeah. like to go, lad? For just a few coin, my griffins can get you there faster than even the swiftest horse. So I'm trying out some new stuff. Uh, one of the things that I did do was I increased the audio. To make my video quality sound a little better and then i try to do a little research between last night and today on how to make my video qualities better um some of the videos that i was putting out before and i'm trying to get better at each video i put out i'm trying to at least progress a little better um, the video quality i noticed wasn't as great as i wanted it to be and i noticed a lot of these other videos that you would watch on youtube and stuff people playing video games their quality is really good so um i'm gonna keep looking i'm gonna keep digging i think i did some changes that might help for this video just uh let me know if it does look a little better and i'll keep working at um the video quality the other thing that i definitely need to work on is grabbing a mic um uh, the mic i got is, is from a headset um i tuned it the best i could with the audio settings that I was trying to research um, but I actually need to get a good you know decent studio mark it doesn't have to be nothing that's super high quality I think just something that gives me a better crisp and better sounding like when I talk sometimes I notice when I talk too low it almost cuts me out um, I notice that a lot in my videos and then when I when I talk too high or something like my h's like if i go to say hello or something my words i trust the off. light is with you adventurer is there something that i can i help you with yep. i am glad you've arrived adventurer 
There are many things we will have to discuss, but more importantly is your training in the ways of the light. There are lessons all servants of the light must learn. If you are ready, we'll begin discussing some of those now. One of those lessons, I'm assuming, is a spirit prayer. So we're going to put that on our hot bar. It should work. The, how I set up tell me when for it. We're going to see later on. It's it. It shows desperate prayer down here. Um, So in reality, I don't have it as like a cooldown. It's just desperate prayer is that last little. It's a 10 minute cooldown. It's that last little, little. Uh, if you're getting beat down real hard, obviously you're going to use it to try to save your life. Um, so how I set it up in here my tell me when is under the conditions i made it where if i'm like 30 percent or below it automatically pop up that icon for me telling me to like use it use this desperate prayer uh it's off cooldown that's where one of the conditions here is just like my life percentage has to be at a certain percent and then i can use it i also know that it's there anyways i know it's always there in the back of my head so i don't i'm not relying on this icon i just know and it's kind of like a helpful reminder that's like hey you're when it does pop up, you know that you're kind of in some trouble already. Um, the other part being is that I just show spell cooldown. So when it's usable, it'll be, it'll also pop up. So uh, right now it's usable, but my health's not at 30%, so the icon won't pop up for me. The last thing I need to do to make it work is you always got to make sure you enable it up here. Make sure it's enabled. It's enabled. So that's it. Tell me when. When I get some of these other spells and abilities, I'll, uh, I'll add them along the way. So we're going to go pick up this quest over here to the left and um, turn in a few quests. I think the one over here, this doesn't really matter. I'll probably just turn that on. And then the last thing I'm going to think I'm going to do is grab a wand from the auction house. And then if I can get one, if they have one at a good price. And then uh, you should see me next over here uh, near Hog. It seems an eternity since I was a boy working the farm in Westfall. They say you can never go back, and it's true. Doubly true in my case, my family's home has been burned down and taken over by thieves. I have spoken with my father about the fate of some of my possessions, including my first compass. He was unable to save them. However, he also says that they should be hidden away on the farm. You'll find the Alexton farmstead west of Sentinel Hill. Perhaps you could go and retrieve it for me. That's the other quest over there in Westfall. We're going to go do that. It's a really quick quest to do. Um, and then, yeah, we'll turn in these, this one that's left here. I'm not picking up another quest here, so this doesn't matter. And yeah, Let's see if we can grab a wand and then we'll cut back over here. So mistakes were made. I was trying to just uncover this area here. Happened to run of the house and I aggroed everything. Most of those mobs there are level like four. And uh Yeah. But there's a couple there that are like level nine and might be some level tens. But I was just running through there. I was trying to I don't understand why this area isn't uncovered. But I'm just looking. These guys, lovely. Put a bunch of 
bullies. All right, so we made it over here to Deputy Rainer. We're going to turn in these quests, pick up the hogger one. I can't believe the officials in Stormwind sending the bulk of our army abroad when our home front is under so much pressure. With thieves coming from Westfall and gnolls encroaching from, from the east and west, it's a wonder Stormwind itself isn't besieged. Marshal Dugan sent you, huh? Well, you're not from the army, but if Dugan sent you, then that's good enough for me. Our situation is, to say the least, a stressed one. I hope you can give us a hand. Knolls, brutish creatures with no decent business in these lands, have been seen along the borders of Elwyn Forest. A large pack of them, many more than we can handle alone, have infested the woods south of the guard tower yonder. Another group has infested the areas near Stone Cairn Lake to the east. The Stormwind army will commend whomever helps kill them. Bring me their painted knoll armbands as proof of your deed. Alright, so what we're working on here is the knoll armbands. Hogger, not sure how hard he is. I don't think I can probably solo him as a disc priest unless I do it some kind of way where maybe I just kite him over to maybe these guards and have the guards help me or maybe I get lucky and get somebody else to help me take on Hogger. This priest, not priest, but this mage over here. Obviously, he's probably mass AoE farming these guys. Oh, the group. Hogger. Right. Maybe I can get lucky. Or not. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the help, guys. Uh, but yeah, we'll work on trying to find Hogger again and see what we can do from here. Um, yeah. I should have got that chest why there was nothing spawned. They probably would have spawned on me. But we'll work on the no falls and then we'll figure out a way to get Hogger. So just picked up this gold. Okay. Gotta bring that back. I'll do that when I kill Hogger. And there he is. Uh, I don't know if I can take him by myself. Let me think of a strategy. I think I can kite him. And I can discontinue to kite him, maybe. I think that's the goal. He's probably going to knock me out. But we'll give it a go. Okay, get some help for uh, this maid, maybe. That might be enough to maybe take out Hogger. I don't know. Uh, but I was going to try to see if I could get him over to this uh, guard, but I think we got him from here. I appreciate the maid's help. And there we go, Hogger. Thanks. So not quite a solo, but whatever. He got the job done. So moving on from here. We're going to get the rest of these no pulse And uh, yeah, that should be it.
So this may just try to AOE these guys. I turned around. I see where he grouped them up. Turned around, came back. I guess he died trying to AOE these guys. Uh, that's the maze that helped me kill Hogger, so I guess I get to return the favor a little bit. I know he's AOE farming these guys, but that did not work out for him. Save him a little bit of a run from that death. All right, just finished all the painted no pulse, uh, the band, uh, what are the armbands, whatever they are. Anyways, um, one of the things that I was kind of thinking also that I was going to change out, change up with my recordings is. King's uh, honor, friend. Basically, I'm going to record longer sessions instead of cutting it down into the content that I wanted to do. I think I'm going to just record hour-long sessions and cut it hour by hour and then trim that up to however um, what I want to keep out of those recordings. And then just kind of end it at an hour when I know I'm in between whatever content I'm creating and then maybe new content that I'm coming across or just things that I experience. Because I noticed that I do miss a lot of things when I'm trying to just capture little pieces. And I think that's the, the best part about World of Warcraft. It's like you you come across unexpected events or little little funny bloopers or whatever that you see from time to time. And you're just you're not filming in those time frames because you're not thinking that there's really no content. So the best way to do it, I think, to approach just even YouTube video um, like trying to create content out of it. It's just film your whole session. You can break it up into whatever you want at that point. So um, that's just stuff that I'm kind of learning as I'm going. And all of this right here is just a, a new journey for me anyway. So let's see what we got here. I see you've been busy. You have our thanks, adventurer. We'll go for those. Go with honor, friend. And then we'll make our way back over to the gold shire. All right, so made it back over here. Let's see what this quest have to say. If you guys like the dialogue that pops up, ah, well done. Let me know, and I'll keep it. No one would take if you don't like it, monster. you want me to just you cut, are, adventurer. cut some things. That Noel was giving me a headache the size of Black Rock Spire. We'll keep the thing with the <laughs> silver for now. Uh, well, I can use staff slider, even though that one doesn't necessarily help me. Be careful. I probably should go to the weapon smith and storm in at some point and try to learn staffs. But I tried to get a wand earlier from the auction house and I was looking, but unfortunately, they were like 14 to 20 gold or 20 silver a piece. And at the time when I was trying to get it, I only had like six silver. So this might give me enough to go pick up a wand. Hmm. I have heard of this collector, but I don't know whom he's working for. Thank you for the schedule. It will help us solve this mystery. If the collector is taking gold from our mines, then he's stealing from the kingdom. Bring the collector to justice, and bring me the ring mentioned in the pickup schedule you gave me. It may tell us whom the collector is working for. The pickup schedule says the collector is hiding out at the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch. You should search for him there. Okay, the collector's over there. All right, we'll check it out. I guess that's where we're heading next. All right, so we're here at the collector trying to get him. This guy might have bit off a little more than he could chew with, with uh, Princess. Uh, who should die? Let me see if I can help him out. Oh, uh, no, he doesn't need to help. 
All right, we'll go back in here. I think we're good. I don't think we got to do anything else. I think these guys got this from here. He obviously handled Princess like a pro, but... Here, I'll help you finish it. All right, um... But we got what we needed here from the collector. And we'll make our way back over to the gold shower. See what's next. Greetings. Um, this is the last. You found him? Well done, Part adventurer. Of this quest, he won't hopefully. be collecting from the Elwyn mines again. And this ring you found is interesting. It's a membership ring for the old stonemasons guild in Stormwind. Why would a lowly thief have an artisan guild ring? And why are the Defias thieves collecting money from our mines? Difficult questions. I hope one day we'll have answers. Alright, I think I have enough silver now to go get a wand. So I'm going to try to go pick that up in Stormwind just to have something else like that. And then I might just go ahead and see if I can learn stats. I don't know if I can or can't. Um, but yeah, I think the last thing we need to do... Actually, there is nothing else we need to do, I think, in Elm Force. I think we're done here done here yep we're gonna start heading over to the west wall next so let me go knock these things out so we can get a wand and then uh we'll go over to this first quest in west wall we're finally making it over to west fall so getting on this side of the map Pick up a couple of these quests. I did make it. Verna woke me when she heard a ruckus in the fields. The fields were full of hooligans. We left in a rush, and I forgot to pack my pocket watch. Verna's PA gave me that watch on our wedding day, and I feel just sick knowing those thieves have it. I left the pocket watch in the wardrobe at the farmhouse. Look for the field of pumpkins to the west. You can't miss it. If you bring it back to me, I'd sure be grateful. All right, so what I was saying is I did make it to Stormwind, and I was able to pick up a wand. Um, this is the wand right here. They're actually running kind of expensive on the auction house right now. Um, the seven silver there is not the average price for this wand. I didn't scan the auction house before, so, but they're more like 14 silver for one of these wands. So they're kind of, the prices are a lot higher than they were previously when I scanned the auction house. But, uh, I did pick up a wand. This should help. I got to get my wand skill up. Um. I was going to put points into wand specialization, but I didn't do it yet because I figured the healing focus would be, obviously, I'm a healer, uh, would probably be a priority at the moment. So maybe I work on this healing focus, and then next I'll work on to wand specialization, just for kind of questing and stuff like that. You need something? I never thought the day would come when I'd leave the farm, but the fields are overrun with thieves, and it's far too dangerous for us here now. As soon as Farmer Furlbrow gets the wagon fixed, we'll be on our way. Maybe you could do me a favor? Let me scribble down my recipe for Westfall stew. Please take it to Salma Saldin over on the farm yonder. The Saldin's farm is just beyond the fork in the road. Poor old Blanche. Such a tired beast after all the work we put her through. I fed her before we left the farm, but we weren't expecting the wagon to break on us. If you could bring her a few handfuls of oats from the fields, I'd be grateful. I bet you could find some around all of the farms in Westfall, if you can steer clear of those horrific machines that have taken over. There are several farms southwest of here. So we're going to work on wand specialization. We'll get some of these oats around this area. And then, yeah, keep, can, keep trucking along, keep continuing on. And there it is. There's the level 15 guy there I gotta worry about now.
Yeah, he's, he's already wrecked me. <laughs> oh, the level. Level for the save. Alright, let's see if we can take him now. Yeah, resisting everything is not nice. Ah, oh, he's hit me like a truck. I don't need that bird on me either. Nope, this might be the end. Oh, God. Pop a potion. With no more heals. Ah, like enough to escape him. Finally, uh, leashed back. Yeah, he is hitting me like a truck. We got to get in there. We got to get in there. Um, let's see if we can get more wand damage for now. We'll try again since he's by himself now. I'm going to see if I can cheese him on this fence where I jump back and forth across the fences here and get him to run around after me. Maybe I just dot him up and cheese him that way. I don't know. It's worth the shot. Resisted both of those. All right, here we go. Get a hit on me here and there, but that's okay. And I'll just keep trying to cheese them like this. Oh, so close to die. Get a heal off myself. Another redo. I'll just keep him dotted. Come on. Finish up. Oh, like, yeah, dang, that was rough for being a level 11 trying to kill this level 15. This hit me like a truck. Uh, this guy shouldn't be so bad, but dang, that was rough. All right, get in here, finish the quest, get out of here. And, uh, yeah, I would turn in these quests. And dot, get him. Hopefully nothing respawns. I can get in here. Ah, get the pocket watch. Just like that. Too easy. I wish I wish it was too easy. That was actually kind of rough. Hello. Thank you so much, adventurer. Poor old Blanche will be so happy. Safe travels. And there we go. Turned in this quest. Get an extra bag. Definitely needed that. Uh, stronger bag. That's cool. Yep. Yeah. How are you? My watch. Thank you so much, kind sir. We are but poor farmers and we have lost our land, but please accept this reward as a token of our appreciation. Cool, I was running out of water too. Uh, we'll put the bread up here, we'll put the water up here. Put these, put them in this tab. It's a quest. None of this other stuff I want to keep, so I'm not worried about it. Alright, let's make our way over to. Uh, We'll pick up these quests. We'll make our way over to Sentinel Hill. Um, pick up the quest there, turn in the quest in that area. And then I think we might call it done for this video right now. Um, I'll probably go through, edit it up for some of the events and stuff that I've done so far. Um, and then another thing that I was thinking about was... Uh, Maybe I should cut down on the length of my videos. Maybe keep them more close to anywhere between 20 to 40 minutes, but like try to keep it more closer to that 30 minute uh, video and just capture all the the main events. I, I Greetings. Rough times, huh, adventurer? No matter where you turn, someone needs help, and my wife and I are no exception. I want to keep um, the dialogue that you see right there. In a lot of these videos, I'm trying to be quiet in between those so you guys can kind of just hear as I'm going through doing the quests because I don't know how many people have actually gone through and understand what quests that, that they do. 
And with this add-on, it, it makes a difference because I know I'm one of the people too that don't, I'm too lazy. I don't, I don't read the quest half the time. I just read the objective part and just try to complete the quest. Um, other than that, there's, there's kind of some cool stories behind it all. So I like it. But I'm, I'm going to be quiet in between all a lot of these dialogues. And then I'm going to try to keep my videos, like I said, anywhere between 20 and 40 minutes up in that range. Um, and just keep continuing on with this walkthrough. Look at what has happened to this place. These lands were once occupied by good farm folk. But the damn thieves have driven them all off. Not me, though. But it seems some harvest watchers have taken over the fields. If you're up for the work, I'd like you to go out and kill 20 of them. Come back when you're done for your pay. If you finish up with the ones in my field, clear them from the neighboring fields as well. Yeah, those harvest washers are level 14. That might be a little tough right now. I could probably still take them, but... I don't know. Those guys hit like a truck. Hey there. Be careful. That Verna was always such a sweet lass. We'll miss her here in Westfall, but between you and me, she's a city girl at heart, and Stormwind will suit her just fine. But enough gossip, now we can make Westfall stew. The onions are peeled, the garlic is minced, the rosemary is crushed, the crust has been baked, the dill weed is chopped, the gravy is simmering. Now all I need for my famous meat pie are eight Gortusk livers. Help me make some Westfall stew. Come back with the following ingredients. Three stringy vulture meat, three Gortusk snouts, three murloc eyes, three okra. All right, and then running over to Sentinel Hill. This is probably where we'll cut the video over in this direction. Like I said, um, there's a lot for me to do over here in Westfall. There's a lot for me to do over here. So this will keep me busy for a while. I imagine I'll get level 18 out of this area hopefully by the time i'm done maybe 17 level 17 um start this one well met ah so my friend sent you here how kind well the stormwind monarchy has abandoned our cause now it is up to the people's militia to keep the land free from corruption if our cause interests you i can put your combat skills to use in the name of freedom the People's Militia has but one goal, to defend the lands of Westfall and return peace to our surroundings. Unfortunately, the price of peace is often blood. One of my scouts has brought word of a band of Defias trappers wreaking havoc nearby. I have reports of Defias trapper sightings near the Jangle Load Mine to the northwest as well as at the Molson Farm and Furlbro's Pumpkin Farm. If you seek to join our ranks, slay 15 Defias trappers and 15 Defias smugglers, then return to me. Stormwind has abandoned us. A foul wind of depravity rustles through the plains of Westfall. This was my homeland, and I will not turn my back on the citizens who choose to remain here. We, the former farmers, shall make our stand. Your task, should you choose to accept, is to patrol the grasslands of Westfall. Track down and slay the vile gnolls that seem to be working in conjunction with the dead mines thieves. Bring me eight knoll paws, and I will reward your bravery. Although we don't get much aid from Stormwind directly, I do have a contact in the city who helps supply us with armor. His name is Osric Strang. His shop, Limited Immunity, is in the old town of Stormwind. Our supply of armor dwindles, and I must contact Osric for more. Can you take him this note? The fastest way to Stormwind is through Thor, our griffin master. He's just down the hill, bring him my note, and then take a griffin to Stormwind. The Defias front is constantly shifting. I've been following their movements for quite some time now. On a side note, I've ascertained that many members of the gang can be tracked by the red leather bandanas they wear. Bring me 15 of these bandanas and I'll see to it you are rewarded. Uh, yep. There's the quest that I picked up. This is the quest that we're going to pop in and do. Look at all of this on the map. Uh, it's a, a lot of it's just kind of like, it feels like it's overwhelming, but it's really not that bad to get in here and kind of you kind of get a general idea of what you're looking for. Um, <laughs> Questy helps out a lot. It's a good app or good add-on. So, but yep, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I appreciate the the watch, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.